The South Carolina Aquarium has launched a new initiative de designed to help out the community called Good Catch Seafood Connection. Despite a close proximity to water and the seafood within it, many South Carolinians actually experience food insecurity. This motivated the aquarium to team up with other organizations to offer the low country greater access to that ocean bounty and to alleviate some of the growing challenges of choosing local and sustainable seafood. Live Five's Destiny Kennedy joins us live in Charleston at the South Carolina Aquarium to tell us more about this initiative. Destiny, good morning. Good morning, Katie and Shelby. The South Carolina Aquarium hopes this initiative will encourage the community and businesses to support local shrimpers and fishermen. According to a study by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, South Carolina ranks as the eighth highest food insecure state in the nation, with 12.6 percent of the state's residents experiencing food insecurity. To fight this each month, the Good Catch Seafood Connection will purchase 50 pounds of shrimp and 110 pounds of gutted and headed swordfish from the local family-owned business Cherry Point Seafood. The seafood would, will then be dropped off to the nonprofit 180 plus place where their chefs and trainees will prepare the food. The Culinary Institute of Charleston at Trident Tech will also receive a delivery and the students will fillet and package the food to deliver it to the Low Country Food Bank for their Meals on Wheels program. Together, these organizations will feed between 500 to 550 food insecure neighbors. I talked with Dr. Sarah McDonald, the Director of Conservation for the South Carolina Aquarium. She explains why the Low Country faces food insecurity challenges despite a close proximity to water. Charleston and, and throughout South Carolina um, in which uh, the water is contaminated and the fish are, are contaminated. The other thing is people have lost access to the water. Uh, there's a lot of development that's happening. And the last thing is cost because we're going through a bit of a crisis right now. We're experiencing a glut of very cheap imported shrimp that is currently flooding the market. Though the program is new, the aquarium hopes to expand it to include more recipients and more shrimpers and fishermen. Reporting live in Charleston, Destiny Kennedy, Live 5 News.